Well, it's a new chapter in the debate over the redevelopment of the Gulch. Supporters and opponents got a chance to weigh in on the mayor's new proposal today. Some great shots of the area here, courtesy of our Sky Fox drone, which flew over the area that the mayor wants to redevelop. It's the 40 acres between Mercedes-Benz Stadium and the federal courthouse. Her plan calls for a mix of high-rise offices, retail space, hotels, and homes. But the plan to pay for all of it has drawn fierce opposition from some people around the city. Now, Fox 5's Morse Diggs has followed all the developments in this Gulch debate and joins us now live with the latest. Morse. Well, we watched Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms throw a Hail Mary pass, figuratively, inside the city council chamber as she had representatives from the project answer every question of the council members and some in the public as they listened for about seven hours worth of details on the Gulch. Finally, it looks like we're going to have an up or down vote on Monday. The undeveloped hole in downtown, will it happen? The most ardent critics of the Gulch still say no. And then you say, but this is the best deal and we need to fix the hole in the ground. Well, the hole that needs to be fixed is the hole in the soul of Atlanta's heart. Leaders of Atlanta and the state believe concessions in terms of subsidies can be worth predicted growth with new offices, retail, and housing. But critics complain approval would lead to gentrification. A pro council member tried to flush out the terms of how some housing would be reserved for three years at prices modest income families could pay. The affordable housing piece, okay, they would sustain it, the developer. Several tax allocation districts and, and affordable housing deals don't have a minimum of three years or a minimum at all. So what we have seen is folks have come in, they've leased property or they've put it on there as a rental property and then within one year flipped it over to for sale and not had to meet their affordable housing requirements. So they basically find a way to skirt the system. But Councilman Andre Dickens, who's skeptical, says he wants to see a longer guarantee those set-aside properties won't be flipped to premium purchasers. Aside from the housing debate, one Atlanta resident says the city commitment, although reduced, still doesn't make sense. This is going to shift office buildings from being built elsewhere in town, which would pay taxes, to a place where they won't. The employers are coming regardless of the goals. We just saw it with BlackRock, Salesforce expanding. We saw it with Starbucks coming. They don't care about the goals. They care about the universities, the talent. I cannot recall in decades of reporting such an impassioned debate back and forth about a project that did not involve a highway. Now, chances are the lobbying will continue right up until Monday morning as the city council will get prepared to say yes or no. If that vote gets delayed, chances are the mayor will be told ahead of time she does not have the votes. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you so much, Morse.